Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Goodfield. Let's change your life now. Not everybody is bad, not everybody's good. The, most of us are somehow in the middle. We make good, de good decisions some days and bad decisions other days. Corey, what about you? How was it for you? I was really surprised with the accuracy that, that your feedback gave me on the way that I handle my situation along with my family. So. No, but does it make sense to you, really? It does. It makes a lot of sense. And uh, is that something that you should really think about doing? It is something that I should do. And we sometimes get so immersed in our own way of looking at our problems that, that we make it worse. Our answer to the problem becomes the problem. Mahmoud Omadinejad is a liar. Oh, well, how could you say that? I don't say it. I'll prove it. Take a look now and see what you see. There he is. He's looking at you right now. And then out comes the tongue. And then he closes his eyes and there's the smile. He just did that right there. What's that mean? Well, it means I'm looking at you. I'm angry towards you. I close my eyes and I put the smile on. You know how long that takes? 20th of a second. That man's lying to you. What's your name? John Allen. Again? John Allen. What do people call you? John. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions because, you know, it seems like that's what I've been doing with you. And how accurate were they for you? And uh, how'd you feel about the response I gave you? And maybe you can give me some feedback. You surmised that um, I, I wasn't called John. That's not my original name, so, uh, per se. Uh, you got that dead on. What, 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 were you, what were you called? Aaron, actually, growing up. Very I, different than uh, John. Very it? different than John. It was my middle name, and I, I swapped it over to my first name. I just... One of my major concerns are some of the things that are happening nationally and internationally now. Let's take a look at Nicholas Sarkozy in terms of his nonverbal behavior, what we can understand about him. First of all, he's a man that's very interesting because he's similar in a certain way to Napoleon. Yeah, I said Napoleon. He's short. He's been married twice. He's not, didn't, wasn't born in France. In terms of his unconscious behavior, what you can know about Nicolas Sarkozy is this. He chews and he blocks his aggression, and when he does, out comes the tongue and he looks right at you, and then he says what he's gonna say. He holds back a lot. Everybody's looking for help. Everybody's trying to figure a way. I have a couple things I'd like to show you. How do you deal with stress? I think I deal with it pretty well because I just, well, I mean, considering I just don't really have a lot of stress, or I don't see myself as having a lot of stress. One of the things I know about you is that you take distance from people, you look at it, you're skeptical in the way you, you look at something, you kind of, is that really true? Is that so? Is that right? I would, I would agree with you 100% on that. Let's stop it now. Quit kidding yourself. This is real stuff we're talking about. This is about honesty, this is about integrity, this is about being yourself. Stop lying to yourself. It's time now that we take a look at how we've been looking. Think about how we've been thinking. It's time now.